With Life is Strange 2 coming out, I figured I could make a list of movies and TV shows to watch that largely influence Life is Strange. I have a few that no one else seems to point out and I'm like, come on, watch this! So, the first one is Heart Candy. This movie is very clearly the source material for Mr. Jefferson. It starts off with a successful photographer named Jeff, who looks like this, meeting a 14-year-old girl in a chat room. They meet in real life, and he takes her back to his place for a photography session. Much like Mr. Jefferson, his art of young girls is plastered all over his home. He is also obsessed with innocence and capturing that realness on his camera. There are other parallels, but I don't want to spoil the movie for you, so if you ever fantasize about getting revenge on Mr. Jefferson, this is the movie for you. Content warning for pedophilia and some other mm, things I can't say without spoiling, but... Oh my god! <laughs> All guys, they have porn at least somewhere in their crib. You've done studies on this, of course. Yeah, I was thinking. Put these photos on his wall, maybe those are his porn. But I bet they're not your stroke shots. I bet whatever you have is so juicy. It needs its own little cubby hole. Isn't that right, Jeff? She was so sexy, she was asking for it. Oh, she was only technically a girl, she acted like a woman. It's just so easy to blame a kid, isn't it? What's so special about these photos? This is what they make those federal laws for, Jeff. This is officially sick. I recognize this girl. What makes this girl so special? Twin Peaks. An obvious choice to many, but still some might not know about this. Twin Peaks is a strange place where a young woman, Laura Palmer, has been murdered. Much like Rachel Amber, she was not a perfect victim, but still a victim nonetheless. The show revolves around discovering who Laura Palmer really was before her death, who killed her, and why, with extra paranormal experiences and strangeness. Much like Life is Strange, Twin Peaks also has a prequel named Fire Walk With Me, where you're able to understand who Laura Palma was before her murder. There are a lot of references to Twin Peaks and Life is Strange, so I strongly believe the game was highly influenced by the show. Content warning for rape, abuse, and just generally a very upsetting atmosphere. Top of the Lake, a show that not many people pick up on, but was referenced in Mr. Jefferson's license plate. A very young girl tried to kill herself after hiding a pregnancy. A female detective is assigned to find out who did this to her, and the young girl doesn't know. She literally does not understand how she got pregnant. Many other children in the town have problems as well. A list of conspiracies are uncovered with a lot of twists and turns, but this show is one of the things that helped me suspect Mr. Jefferson as the villain he was before he was unveiled. Content warning for rape, violence, drugs, and literally, like, everything. Blue is the warmest color. If you're looking for something a little less murder and a little more gay, blue is the warmest color is great. A blue-haired punk meets a brown-haired dork and they fall in love. There is both a comic and a movie. Fans have pointed out that the comic version looks exactly like Max and Chloe. Warning, it's a story of a relationship from the beginning to its end. It's not a happy ending by any means, but no gays die. Thanks for watching. If you like this, you might like my other content, or even our Let's Plays. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters and PayPal donators who make videos like these financially sustainable. If you like, please follow me on Twitter at Geek Remix or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash geekremix.